So one day I'm by my Shabbat table with all my kids and I thought to ask the most uh, funniest question. I look at my kids and I'm like, which, which of my children do you think I love the best? Who's Abba's favorite child? And they're like, oh my goodness, I can't believe he actually asked that question. So one boy says this, one girl says that. And I said, do you know who Abba's favorite child is? And they're like, can't believe I'm about to say my favorite child is. They're going off their chair. So I said, it's the child that cares the most about their siblings. It's the one that thinks constantly, how can I do better and give in and do better for my, for my sibling? When Abba sees that, that sincerity, one day it can be this kid, one day it can be that kid. That is the time that Abba feels, wow, I'm the most proud of you. You are my favorite child. And if everyone can do it, then that's fantastic. Everyone's my favorite child. But that's how Abba assesses who is a favorite child. But I have one of my biggest zikhuyot in my life is to be part of Chazak to some degree. And I look around, I see people so involved in different levels. Unbelievable. I look at the team, I think to myself, people like this exist in this world where they're cold, cool, thinking about Hashem's children, bringing Hashem's children back to the fold. It's something unbelievable. And everyone over here is very busy with the legwork. The legwork, come and check it out. No one's driving Mercedes and Lexus over here. They're, they're mama, shiro, shol, viro, bo, thinking about how to get every child back to the fold. HaKadosh Baruch Hu, our father in Shemaim, loves all of his children so much, he just wants them to come back to the fold. Who is that favorite child that will step forward and say, I'm going to bring him back, I'm going to do something, I will do something. So, so many people come to this team of Chazak, team Chazak, that comes together and brings back people to the fold. Whether if it's people that are far, or people that are close and want an opportunity to further strengthen whatever muscle needs to be strengthened. Rabotai, that's the legwork. Once a year, we have an opportunity to do to 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 chip in on the pocket work. Now it's time for pocket work. For some people, it's a hundred dollars. Some people, it's a thousand dollars. Everyone knows what he can do for Abba to bring to bring another child back to the fold. We look around us, we get inspired. Forget about the, the first step of giving. First thing of opportunity. It's that time of the year again where Chazak says, "Who wants to step forward and do the pocket work?" No one's driving fancy cars here, I guarantee you. First, be pumped, opportunity. Wow, this is the time of the year. Step number two, I would like to step forward and do my part. Whether if it's this price or that price, whatever stature a person is. And Bezerat Hashem will bring back everybody back to the table and all be Zoheh to be called Hashem's favorite child.